Hey there Social Blade fans, Dave here for another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. And this week we're going to show you how to claim slash monetize your videos so you can protect them and place ads. It's something that's somewhat changed when Maker Studios has decided to take this sort of claiming part out of it and it does it itself. So let's go jump on the computer and see how it's done. So let's cover one of the first changes here that's in your upload manager. You can get to that by choosing the drop down menu here at the top and go to video manager and you'll notice all your videos listed. A lot of changes that people have recognized here is the main one that has changed and that is this S or dollar sign used to be a circled C which meant claimed or copyright. Usually it meant claimed actually but it was the copyright symbol. But you know here's the change and it's automatically popping up for anyone that in this network is this icon shows whether each whether or not each video has a monetized policy. Setting any policy will now claim the video automatically. So now They've sort of changed the ability to set your claiming in it and we'll go over how to set this up properly but note that even if you're still monetized you're in the network it's not that this icon has changed or not it means that you're in the network or not the reason why is just because it's, they, they said it was um at first it was a cosmetic change but i've noticed settings change within my claiming options so a little bit less to choose from a little bit easier to go through and set but let's go over everything now how do you actually check if you're still in the network well, you go to the analytics down here. I'll bring up this page here and go over to the left where it says channel settings. And this will actually verify that you're in good standing and everything. It also says which network you're in. So we're in RPM networks. If you're a social blade partner, it'll say RPM networks right here. Partner validated, verified, and all that. So we're good to go. That means we can go back to our upload section and check out some of the monetization features. Actually, let's go about uploading a video. And we can drag and drop something. I got some stock footage that I shot a while back here of some uh, some things. And you'll notice if we go over to the monetize section here, let's actually set this so it's not public. We'll set it private. We'll save the changes on this real fast. But you'll notice under the claiming section here, it's now titled monetization. It used to have some ability to claim the audio and or video or both. They've taken that out. So the main thing you want to actually change here is actually your title. You could put in a little bit of description too, but I don't really bother with all these things. I just put in a title and you know it's actually after it's uploaded, it just claimed itself and now I can't even change this. It's a one-time setting, so do it fast. I tend to make this match the final video file title. So if it's going to be, my upload is going to be titled Fire Hydrant, set that here in the title custom id don't mess with it sometimes it'll be blank sometimes it'll be there it may change throughout the uh, the day or per upload just don't worry about it description and notes they're pretty much non needed and once again these get grayed out after a while because they can only be set once that means the video has been auto claimed because you monetized it so now under this we could say hey let's block this in all countries so that no countries get the uh, ad placed we can monetize it on all countries track in all countries or monetize in all countries clone from say this id over here the number one thing you really want to actually do is monetize in all countries you can get an explanation of each one here by choosing that close out the little error so the next thing is what ads do you want to place on the videos you've got an in video ad if you click here this is the one that pops up usually at 10 to 30 seconds in i think it's 10 seconds in and they can hit the little X on the top right to close it out. The one below that is a true view in stream ad. This is a pre-roll that you can skip. After that, you've got the same thing, but that cannot be skipped. So I tend to actually leave this one unchecked. It pays a little bit more, but I find it scares people away or they turn on an ad blocker and you're not getting any benefit in the end from either of these two above. Now, if you choose to check this one, it'll limit any of the pre-roll pre true views um, to 30 seconds so it may not scare people away if they can't skip a 30 second ad but you're gonna get paid a little bit less and if you have this video that contains a paid product placement which you usually will not if you guys do have it you probably know to check here but basically you can learn about this basically there are some like commercial uploads that have a paid product placement and checking this may disable ads so you may want to look into that before checking it if unsure well, we'll do your research but most of the time you don't want to check that once again, you want to have your asset as web, title your video, keep the custom ID, and save your settings. 
Other than that, you can go back to your basic information, and all of this can be changed at any time. We just wanted to cover on the monetization and claiming, which is automatically done throughout your uploads now. If you guys have any thoughts or questions, leave in the comment section below. Give me a like on this video and feel free to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content that we produce here on the Social Blade channel. If you haven't done so already, go to the socialblade.com website while you're checking your stats and find all the social media websites, be it Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Go find us on all those and follow us there for great upcoming content. You don't want to miss out on any important things. Wink, wink, the new website design coming soon, guys. So thank you for watching this week. Also, if there's something I should be covering in the future that I haven't done so already, leave it in the comments below or give me an inbox uh, message. And I thank you guys for your input there. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.